right here. Okay, thank you all very, very much whoa, for uh, being out here today. Let me, uh, we're in this race to win. But it's not a question, but you got to understand, I, I ask people to understand my history. You are looking at a guy, undisputably, who has the most unusual political history of anybody in the United States Congress. I have run, it's not only that I'm the longest serving independent in the history of the Congress, I've run for statewide office, I got 1% of the vote. I don't know if I should be proud of that, but my last election I got 71% of the vote. The point is, that's not the right question. The question is, if you raise the issues that are on the hearts and minds of the American people, if you try to put together a movement which says, we have got to stand together as a people and say that this capital, this beautiful capital, our country belonged to all of us and not the billionaire class, that's not raising an issue. That is winning elections. That's where the American people are. Now, then to contest the Democratic Oh, no, not at all. No, we're Now, then to contest the Democratic Oh, no, not at all. No, we're One of the hesitancies I had about deciding whether to run or not was obviously dealing with money. I'm not going to get money from the Koch brothers, and I'm not going to get money from billionaires. I'm going to have to raise my campaign contributions through BernieSanders.com, small individual contributions. That's how I'm going to do it. But I seriously wonder, and it's not just Bernie Sanders, I wonder now, in this day and age, whether it is possible for any candidate who is not a billionaire or who is not beholden to the billionaire class to be able to run successful campaigns. And if that is the case, I want you all to recognize what a sad state of affairs that is for American democracy. Does it make you a better nominee than Hillary Clinton? Well, that's, it's too early. You know, we don't know what Hillary's uh, stances are on all of the issues, but this is what I can tell you. Uh, and maybe let me conclude on this. I voted against the war in Iraq. And not only did I vote against it, I helped lead the effort. And many of the things that I said back then turned out to be true. I mean, the massive destabilization in the region. I am helping right now to lead the effort against the Trans-Pacific Partnership because I believe it continues a trend uh, of horrendous trade policies which have cost us millions of decent paying jobs. Uh, I help lead the effort against the Keystone Pipeline because I don't think we should be transporting some of the dirtiest fuel in the world and we've got to be really vigorous in terms of transforming uh, our energy system. So those are some of uh, my views, uh, and we'll see where Secretary Clinton comes out. But does that mean that uh, you will not distinguish yourself? All right, thank you very much. Everybody.